Hi everyone, my name is Costa, and today I'm gonna show you how to create a section slideshow in Framer. So I noticed that many users who just started uh, using Framer struggle with this kind of section because uh, you have to put it inside a component and for them it doesn't make sense why you need to put something inside a component in order to be able to uh, control it when you hover on a, a certain element. But that's how Framer works and today I'm going to show you how to do it and as you can see this one is responsive as well. So let's create a new frame. Make it bigger. Call it slideshow. And then click on layout. And now let's create a new frame inside. Select a slideshow frame and go to distribute and put it on start and then align it to the bottom. Now add a padding of 32 pixels, right click, create a component, all right, let's make this wider. Next, I'm going to put some text inside, so I'm going to type in Porsche, but I can't see what I'm typing because the color of the text is white. Okay, select the frame, call it content holder. And now click on layout, select the text, duplicate it two more times. I think three slides is going to be enough. So this is going to be Audi and it is going to be BMW. Okay, let's put this inside a stack. So press Ctrl, Alt, Enter. Select this one, press Ctrl, Alt, Enter as well. And for this one, do the same. All right, select all three stacks and change the height to fill. Now select the content holder and remove the gap. All right. Let's select the first one and add a lighter gray. Something like this. Okay. Now let's create a new frame. Press Ctrl X, put it inside the variant. Change its position to absolute. Center it and put the size to relative for both width and height 100%. Okay, now go to image, click on image, plugins, Lumi plugin. Let's look up for a Porsche. Let's select this one. And now select the content holder and go to styles, Z index and type in five. Then select the image, call it image one. Duplicate it two more times. The second one is going to be image two and the third one is going to be image three. The first image needs to have a Z index of three. The second one Z index of two and the third one Z index of one. All right. Create two more variants. Let's select the second variant, go to image two and look up for an Audi. So let's see if we can find one. Audi. I don't see one directly, but that's not an issue. I will just choose a random image. And now let's go to the third variant, image three. And the same thing, let's look up for a BMW. Okay, again, it doesn't matter that much. So let's pick up a random image. And now in the second variant, select the first image and reduce the opacity to zero. And in the third variant, select the first and second image and reduce the opacity to zero as well. All right, let's select the first variant, drag the second one, click on appear five seconds because we want every five seconds to see a new image. So that's why I'm using delay five seconds. Same right here, five seconds. And now select the third variant, drag the first one, appear five seconds. Okay, let's check it out. And 
and it should work. Okay, it works. Next, let's select this right here, change its color to this one and this one needs to have a black color and same right here. Let's select the BMW, change the color to uh, this gray and then the Porsche needs to have a black color. All right, now what I'm gonna do, I will select the content holder, go to width and change to fill, add a max width of uh, 400 or whatever you want. Okay, so next I'm gonna select Audi, drag the second variant, mouse enter, and then let's select BMW, drag the third variant, mouse enter. And now I'm gonna select the BMW in the second variant, drag the third variant, mouse enter as well. And I'm gonna select the Porsche from the second variant, drag the first variant, mouse enter as well. And now select the Porsche from the third variant, drag it to the first one, mouse enter, and that's it. Now let's go to home and let's test out first the responsiveness. It works good. So also it auto plays as well. Now let's test it out. And as you can see, everything works fine. So yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.